Accident eight, is uh, driven seven, by Justin Smith. Six, while five, Tarkus four, is driven by Brandon three, Bennett Young. Two, hey, I know that guy. One. Fight, robots fight. Oh, good speed from Tarkus right out of the box. And they, this is a sportsman class fight. For those of you who are uninitiated, a sportsman class fight is no high kinetic weapons. We are trying to get control points on each other. You're trying to outdrive each other. It's a, it's a great way to practice driving, practice combat without breaking the bank, without breaking your bot. You could presumably go through 10 fights with a sportsman class without having to do a single repair as long as everything goes right. Tarkus is a new build from Brandon, and uh, I saw his build report online earlier this week. Looks like Tarkus, a total of uh, 10 hours or so of design and build, mm. and uh, he's really seeing some good performance out of this fairly rapid build here. Wow, yeah, 10 hours, that's not a lot. I know, I, I heard from several uh, sportsman builders earlier today that they were concerned about the axe on accident, particularly because there's a lot of things on the top of your robot that you don't want to have hammered if, uh, if you can can, uh, if you can avoid it. It's interesting, there's not a lot of throw on that axe, right? It's just kind of going right into that front of your front tip of your robot. You really like it when there's, you know, a lot of, of arm, is that right, Kyle? Yeah, I want to say you reach the center of the body. You know what yeah. I mean? That's where all the juicy stuff is. Now, I would say, um, you know, we saw earlier today Casey's, the Casey Dermiasins, right? Yep. And I think that they could have easily run 12-pound sportsmen, and I think it's pretty cool that they entered as 12-pound full combat. Yeah, absolutely. And that foam held up so well yeah. in full, pound, uh, full, full combat. That was great. Yeah. I think if you saw a foam bot in 12-pound sportsmen, Austin would just cancel 12-pound sportsmen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we yep. just we wouldn't see it ever again, you know? I think you're probably right. Listen, sportsman's a great way to fill up time. It's great fights. It's great driving practice, and we get to see some creativity from these builders. Yeah. I'm all for it. Brandon Bennett Young. He is, uh, you know, a college student from Maryland, and uh, just an absolutely prolific robot builder. He really is. Um, I, I feel like I've seen a half dozen designs from him here at Norwalk Havoc this year. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's some aggressive tapping from Accident. Yeah. That Good hits from Accident and Tarkus. Looks like it might be dead. Brandon, what happened? Did that Whoa. work? Yeah, I think it just got axed to death. 10 seconds left. Is it going to go to the judges? Are there judges for 12 pound sportsmen or is it just <laughs> us? Oh, there's definitely judges. Wow, okay, two, one, that's the end of the match. Accident, bring that uh, hammer bot over to the door. This one goes to the judges. Fascinating. Wow, good match. That was a good match. It was a very good match. All right, with Tarkus kind of dead in the water in the last 15 seconds of that match, I wonder how the judges are going to see this. Let's start with Jack Tweedy. Yeah. Jack, your thoughts on this fight? Yeah, I'm going to go for accident on this one. They had a lot of effective uses of their weapons and it was definitely the only working bot at the end of the fight. All right, we've got one vote for accident. Diana, your thoughts? I'm going to go with um, accident as well. All right, we've got two votes for accident. How about you, Don? Yep, going accident. All right, the aggressive taps ended up uh, 